All right, the next one I'm going to talk about. What am I going to talk about in this one? We'll do, yeah, we'll do the bottom half. The first trailer I grew up in. So, I mean, basically, some of my first memories are in that trailer. My sister coming up. Or my mom going to the hospital to have my sister. My tia coming over, taking care of me while she was in the hospital. My little sister came home. Those are like the first memories I can think of. Like, those were it. It's my sister coming into this world. Because I was around four or five when that happened. Probably four. Cause I'm four years older than her. It was four. I think that was like the first real, you know solid thing that I remember yeah I grew up with my mom my dad and my sister in there went to kindergarten first grade shit probably all the way up to like fourth honestly I'm not really too sure I can't remember I'll get there though talking about it I went to I went to my first sleepover when I was living down there. Yeah, I was like, what, five, six, seven, around there, some shit like that. There was this dude, I would play outside, so I would play outside, and this dude named Isaac, he used to, like, ride his bike or skateboard, whatever the fuck it was, I can't remember. But we started chopping it up and shit, became good friends. He had a little sister named Giselle. And we would play PlayStation 2. Was it PlayStation 2? No, it was the original PlayStation. It was the PlayStation. We would play the PlayStation 1. Playing fucking Tony Hawk Underground, all that shit. Or not Underground, but Tony Hawk Pro Skater. That was like basically the first friend that I had that I remember. Because I mean, I, that was my, like, you know, that was my dog. I'd be over at his house all the time. His house had a funny smell to it. His parents were fucking insane. Was it his parents? Whoever his guardians were, they were crazy as fuck. His house always smelled funny. It was, <laughs> I can't remember the smell, but I'll never forget that it smelled. It was definitely something different. Hmm. I almost got ran over one time. I was playing outside. I was, like, down the street from my house. It was, like, four or five trailers down. No, I was all the way at the end of the block. My fault. I was all the way at the end of the block. There was this... It was, like, a corner trailer. So, it had, like, more front yard than everybody else. So, they put these big-ass vases in there. Like, ginormous. Probably, probably as big as I was... When I was that age. And they had uh, pine trees in them. Like little pine trees or whatever. And some dude parked his car in front of his house. Now the the street was kind of at an angle. It was like canted a little bit. Facing, going down. And the down would be at the end of the street where I was. So this dumbass didn't put his shit in park and it just started rolling towards, you know, the gravity did his thing. It was coming and coming and I'm like sitting there. I'm, I was on my scooter. I remember that shit. It was on my scooter and I'm watching this big ass car just slowly start creeping. It was probably like at the middle of the street. It was in the middle of the street. Probably like, man, shit. Probably like what, 50 yards maybe, 150 feet. It wasn't that far, but it was like what five, six trailers down, whatever, however many trailers, you know. And so, now it was probably like four or five, because it was in the middle. I'm gonna guess it had like ten trailers on one side and then ten on the other. Sounds about right. It wasn't the longest block in the trailer park, is what I'm trying to say. 
So it keeps coming. And I'm watching this shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So my inside, honestly, I had no instincts. I was just a little kid. But something was telling me like, yo, get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's not going to stop. So I like run behind the, the the pot. I behind I run behind the little vase or whatever. It was a big vase though. It was it was solid. It was full of dirt. Had a tree sticking out of it. Like it was a good four feet round. Like it was just radius of the thing was four feet. It was solid. Full of dirt. So it like the car hit the little thing that I was standing in front of, the little vase or whatever. And that shit shattered. I was scared, you know, I was on a scooter or whatever. And I I remember my mom coming out and she starts yelling at me. What the fuck are you doing? All this shit. Obviously it wasn't Spanish, you know. She wasn't cussing or anything, but that's what she meant, you know. But I mean, I was a little kid, so I didn't really know. I was just, when I saw her, I ran towards her real quick. Got over there. She's over here like, you okay? All this other shit. Da, da, da. So that was like one of the little traumatizing experiences I had on that block. And then I broke a neighbor's window. So the dude who lived exactly like next to us and shit, he had bushes under his windows. It was like a hedge. So I was playing with my little Batman toy, little Batman robot, and I threw it up in the air. And I was that's what I was doing. I was just throwing it up, catching it, throwing it up, catching it, throwing it up, catching it. So, and one of those, you know, I threw it wrong and it went smack right into his window, broke that shit, shattered his glass. <sighs> Loud ass fucking thing weak ass glass I wasn't even that old like there was no way that shit should have broke but you know it is what it is should I be cussing on this I don't know I don't think it matters so it is my autobiography so I don't think it matters but I'm gonna try not to cuss anymore Yeah, like I was saying, so it hit the glass, it broke the glass, shattered it, boom. The glass fell. I ran away instantly. I was gone. I was out of there. I ran home real quick. I think my mom was home. She came outside, like, what was that noise? She saw me, you know, all fluttered and breathing heavy and whatnot. She's like, what was that noise? What was that? I was like, yo, like, I hit the window next door, like, Dude came out, like, screaming, doing all kind of crazy stuff. My mom had to call my dad. My dad had to pay for the window. I lost my toy, too. That's what. That's why I remember this story. Because I would always look in those bushes for my robot toy. And I never, ever found it. Never. Not again. That toy was gone. I think he probably took it, thinking back on it now, but... Yeah, it is what it is, you know. That was probably, like, when I was, like, five, six, maybe. I don't know. And then something else. What else do I remember from living down there? Yeah, I used to hang out with Isaac a lot. His little sister, I don't really remember her. She'll come into play later into these stories. And then, oh, there was this foster family that lived two houses down. So next door to the dude's window that I broke. She was like this old lady and she would uh, take care of foster kids. She was, you know, nice lady, whatever. But the kids that she would take care of were just, my God, man. The stories they would tell were brutal. Like, even me as a little kid, you know, like, I understood, like, what wrong was. And I could feel, you know, pity and emotions. So it would make me sad when they would tell their stories. They would, 
it was always like some new, you know, they would rotate them around. So every so often I would get a new friend. She had like two rooms where they all slept in like bunk beds. I think she had like six kids. Probably, I don't know. She had a lot of kids, though. They were always rotating out, always going back and forth and whatnot. They would tell stories about like being whipped with cables and they would show me the marks on their bodies like it was it was crazy for sure it definitely opened my eyes up to what the world could be you know like as a very young age they would tell me some stories like crazy stories i don't even want to i don't even want to say the stories but they were crazy for sure you know foster kids they broken home whatnot but the I was I was always their friends you know I didn't really like as long as you wanted to play we were good I was still young at the time so it didn't really matter to me but that's that house was the first time that I experienced anything like sexual I guess because like the foster kids and they were they grew up weird, you know, they grew up fucking weird, but they would, like, play games, or, like, I don't want to get into it, but they would play some weird games, for sure, I would always try to stay away from them, like, when they, when, you know, it was that, because they had, like, a, oh, okay, time to play this game, like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, yeah, no, I gotta go, you know, but couldn't always, leave they were bigger than me so sometimes i just had to sit there and just watch like what the fuck they were doing it was definitely weird and then what else do i remember from that neighbors would call so this was around the time my cousins were coming around more like i think it was Pachon, Yaya, Mana, and Joanna. Yeah. I think around that time. Mi abuela, too. I fucking... I don't like her. Never liked her. Not even a little bit. So she was... And this is not even like a... Okay. This is... This is weird. Okay, so... She would come over from Mexico, right, with, like, toys and everything about that. So she would come into the house, say hi to everybody, and then immediately start passing out gifts, right? And she would hand out gifts to all of my cousins. Everyone got a gift. Everyone. I remember this one time. This was the one that I really, really remember, but there was multiple occasions where she did this. She came in with, like, these light-up yo-yos or whatever, you know, the trompos. She had one for everybody, and, you know, I was waiting for mine, and she looks over at me, and she's like, oh, I didn't bring you one. In my head, I'm, I'm little, but I'm like, yo, you came to my house. You brought everybody else one but me. This isn't the first time you do it, but this is a really cool one. You know, like all the other ones, I was like, oh, yeah, that toy's trash. But this one was, it was first time I had ever seen one, all that. And she was like, yeah, I ain't got one for you. I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to write that down. And then... Like, that's the reason why, you know, like, ever since I was little, I just, she never rubbed me the right way, like, she always was doing weird stuff, she would look at me angry, and she always pushed me to the side, like, she never, she never showed me no, like, affection, no love, she never hugged me, like, not that I can remember, so, you know, I'm a little kid, like, I I didn't understand it, but I felt some type of way about it. But, yeah, that's that was around the time, like, so, I don't know who it was. 
I, I, to this day, I don't know who it was. But someone called uh, CVP, like the Child Protective Services or whatever. And they was coming over and visiting and doing all this weird stuff, trying to make sure no one was... They would sit us in the living room by ourselves with everyone outside. And they'd be like, oh, is anyone hitting you? Is anyone touching you? Like, weird old, weird old questions, man. Some weird old questions. Like, whoever called them, I just... Man, I'll punch you in your mouth. Like, that's crazy, but... What a, we're not even gonna... So, yeah, that went on for a while. Uh, what else can I remember? Oh, there was this... <laughs> that went on for a long while. Let me finish there. That went on for a long while. You know, eventually they stopped coming around. I was able to go back outside again, interact with people. And it was around this time when... Uh, a neighbor who lived across the street from us, her name was Marisol. She had, like, nephews or nieces, or I forgot what it was. But it was a female. We were playing in the... I forgot where we were. I don't remember what we were doing. We were playing, though, for sure. And there was a nail sticking out of the, out of the wall for some reason. I don't know, unsafe, but whatever. Paul Osha. <laughs> and she like shoves me and just blah, nails straight into the head. Dog. I'm bleeding everywhere. It was fucking wild. Um, my fault. It was wild. I was scared. There's blood going down the side of my, you know, like. <laughs> Got rushed to the hospital or whatever. I don't remember your name, but you, you, I still remember. I still remember what you did. You know what you did. Well, what else happened there? Like, I mean, everyday stuff, you know, like growing up, playing with toys, and I had a race car bed. <laughs> One time, I uh I found a penny in on the floor. It was on the floor in my parents' room because we shared a room obviously. It was just me and them, so and there was only one bedroom in the house, like a small trailer. So I found a penny on the floor, picked it up, popped it in my mouth and tried to swallow it and it got stuck. And so I'm like you know, trying to swallow it down, but it's not going anywhere. I'm freaking out at this point. I'm choking on the penny, but like I've never choked before, so I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I run over into the kitchen. It just so happens that my mom was pouring orange juice into a cup. I grabbed the cup from her, knocked it down real quick. Boom. <laughs> Knocked it down real quick. And, it, like, I pooped it out later, you know, the regular penny. But, yeah, I was scary. I almost died then, too. And at this very same, this is all the same house I'm talking about. I'm just trying to go up the timeline real quick. Because everything, I mean, it was I was little, so I don't remember too much. This is all kind of like the traumatic stuff, honestly, not going to lie. I don't really remember too much of the fun stuff, but I know there was a lot of fun times for sure. We would always eat like chicken and pollito con papa, papa. I don't know if y'all remember that song, but yeah, we used to listen to that all the time. I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. So I busted my head open in that house. So I was, uh, the phone rang, right? And the phone was on top of the kitchen counter. It was like a little, like a bar stool. Yeah, we had bar stools. There was actually two of them right under the counter. And the phone rang and I was trying to go answer it. So I ran up on the bar stool and I literally like 
two feet on top of the bar stool to go get the phone. I picked it up. And when I went to jump down, I guess, I don't know what happened. But all I know is I whoop, leveled myself because <laughs> I'm stupid. And boom, came crashing down. I either hit the counter or the stool or I hit something sharp, though. Yeah, I still got the scar on the back of my head. I don't want to show it, but it's there. Yeah, that was the first time I ever went to the hospital. One of the only times I ever went to the hospital. I busted my head open. My mom's like, what is going on? I'm crying, screaming, blood everywhere. Like, yeah, it was bad. They took me to the hospital. I got like seven stitches. I got seven stitches, if I remember correctly. I was awake during that whole thing. The whole thing, awake. I can remember the crunch sound and everything. It was just crunch, crunch. Obviously, it wasn't like that, but you know what I mean by crunch sound. Like when you step on fresh snow. I don't know how many of you have fresh, stepped on fresh snow, but that's exactly what it sounded like. Seven times. Just... And it hurt every single time, and it got worse every single time. And yeah, the house almost caught on fire. Yeah, it was... It was an interesting childhood for sure at that house. And then, yeah, I'm gonna end it right here.